I remember a time when I started my career in the tea industry with a company called Brookbond way back in 1982. Nilgiris was really up there in terms of quality and then you know it just faded away. So what we are doing now in Nilgiris is to bring it back and put it back in the top slot. We are trying to do something very different with Nilgiris. Uh, again, this is a story which is a worth telling. I think Nilgiri was, as you know, Nilgiri is also a very high-grown area. You know, tea is being grown at anywhere from 4,000 going up to 7,000 feet. So the flavor potential is very high. We make the tea leaves plucked from the beginning, right from the ancestors' period, and that time we used to produce the tea and we give it to the CTC tea machines. In that particular machineries, in that particular taste, we don't get a, such a good cost price. And we are really in a down product in that particular period. After that, we produce a small tea factory over here to make the tea out of our own tea. And we can get fetch a very good price in the market. With Iron Kettle, there is a lot of support which has come in. You know, uh, experts like Andrew or Ritraj, they have come in, they are given their inputs to the Uti people like you know, uh, factories like Uti Fresh, and their qualities have gone you know, tremendously on the higher side, which has enabled them to improve their uh, you know, uh, prices. What they were used to sell at 200, 250 rupees per kilo, currently Iron Kettle is buying them at 500, 550 rupees. In Nilgiri, we are trying to make a kind of tea which used to happen before and doesn't happen anymore. This is actually that. You will not see any teas right now in Nilgiri, you will not see any tea which is like this. It's quite different in taste and character and this is a, this is a, actually a very nice tea. But when I first came a year back, uh, this is what I was shown, you see? Right. As you can see, it's, it's not at all twisted, it's more flat It's leaf. very open. You see? So when, um, when they put out the samples, I thought I was about to taste CTC. And I said, I don't want to taste CTC. Right. And then they said, no, this is what we produce here. And from that, just with, you know, improving the fine leaf count and, you know, right. uh, convincing the farmers to go, you know, hand pluck, not use mechanical plucking, we were able to come down to this. You can see, it's finer, it's well twisted. And if you, if you taste it, the liquor is brighter, brisker, there's a sweetness to it. Well, as in this, the liquor is very dark, it's more like a city city. Okay. When you look at where we were when we started, like about a year ago, uh, to where we've reached now, I think it's a difference between barely being acceptable in the Indian market to now being able to offer it proudly to international clients. So, and, you know, we, we've been talking about how this could never have happened without good quality finally. What would be great to see, Andrew, is, you know, when you look at Uti Fresh, it's a small unit, it's not very capital intensive. There's a lot of government subsidies and support which is available to set up a small unit like this, which could produce, say, four to five tons, right? Doesn't require too many people around it. There's a lot of fair degree of mechanization here but still very homegrown and very neatly finished in a small area, right? Nilgiris had character, right? Somewhere along the line, we started to focus away from quality into producing more and more, right? And lost the fact that this tea had so much of intrinsic character and it's so easy to bring it back, right? It doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Simple factories can do it, right? All you need to do is to go back to the small tea grower and make sure that you educate him on how much value there is in plucking fine.